Hi, it's Phyllis, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this cross spacer pearl choker necklace. I, in the previous video, I did a craw bracelet, and this will be the matching necklace. So if you like this necklace, stay tuned for my materials list, and we'll get started. Thank you again to all my new subscribers. The materials for today's project are, I'm going to use two beading needles um, for my tools. So two beading needles and a my swivel lobster clasp, a jump ring, two wire guardians, my flat nose pliers, my fire line cutters and my six pound fire line in the crystal color for beads oh and my bead board for beads i'm using eight o um seed beads and these are the mayuki uh black amber i'm using size 11 seed beads these are toho um, the starlight galvanized starlight color I'm using two sizes of pearls I'm using my four four millimeter size pearl and my eight millimeter size pearl and these are the um, they come from um, multi-size package of these strands here um, so for, and that I got from Michaels. So, um, let's gather our materials and we will begin making our cubed spacers or beaded beads. I'm going to make the regular cube spacer first and then I'm going to make the pearl spacer afterwards. So, let's get started. We're going to begin the project by making our spacers. We're gonna make two types of spacers. We're gonna have one spacer that's just a cube and one that is a pearl spacer. And we're gonna begin by stringing on, and we're only using our size eight O seed beads. And we're gonna begin by stringing on four of our seed beads and we'll bring them down um, and just leave a little tail to hold on to and just make a little, uh, a couple of overhand knots. And I'm going to advance my needle two beads past my knot. So here, and you only need a few inches of thread. I've got about uh, maybe 14 inches of thread um, on my needle. All right, so we're just going to do the same thing we've done to make our um, cubes. So I'm, I have my base, and each one of my base beads is going to hold a wall aside so to be and remember we're doing right angle weave so we're doing the cubes so I have um, one side already has one bead so I'm just going to string on three and I'm going to pass my needle back through this bead here and I'm going to advance forward I'm going to string on two of my C beads and I'm going to use these two, this bead and this bead for my next unit. And then I'm going to turn this a little and advance forward, advance my needle forward, going in there in that bead and I'm going to string on two. And I'm going to go back in here and pass my needle through these 
two beads. And your project should look like this currently. This is a familiar looking setup for doing um, cubic right angle weave. So once you get to this setup, you can, you have to advance your needle through this bead and this bead. Well, I'm going to do go one at a time. This is the bottom, this, this is the bottom bead here. This, and, and it's the last one in the series of four. But once I pull my thread tightly, this is going to turn into a, a cube. So I'm going to advance my needle to reposition and add my last bead. I'm going to I'm just going to leave it spread open like this so you can see what I'm doing. My my working thread is coming out here this bead and we have to um use this bead here to complete the cube. Now, I'm going to pass my needle into this bead right here. I have already um strung my one bead that I need to complete the cube and I'm going to pull my thread. Actually, I'm about to have a threaded mess if I don't move this thread out of the way. Pull my thread down. And once I do this, let me move these. Once I pull my thread, I'm going to hold on to this um, cube with my thumb and I'm going to push all of these threads together. It can be difficult to really see what you're looking at, but one thing you have to know is this thread, your thread is exiting in the direction you really need it to be because we have completed making the cube. Now the only thing we have to do is tighten it up. So I just, this is what I did. I just added my last bead right here. Let me pull this out. My last bead I added is right here and it's on this side. What I need to do now is pass my needle through the bead where my my tail thread is is coming out so you know you're in the right direction when you're crossing through your tail thread here and then pass the needle up into this bead So you do have four sides. It's kind of cumbersome for me to show them to you right now. But now you can see that we are at the top of our project here. And these one, two, three, four, these four beads have the proper um, hole orientation where you, you are going to pass your needle this way horizontally into that vertical, those vertical holes. So we are at the top. So I'm passing my needle through this bead, this bead, uh -oh. this bead. and this bead and now we have to pass it through the the fifth or the first bead because those are the two on the top that aren't connected right here I have my whole my opening here just go right that way and when you use your fingers and your dexterity to pull tighten down on your thread you will have a cube it's a little loose, but if if you check my sides out, this is how I do. I reinforce one side at a time, and I try not to drop it because 
that will mess you up. So I'm going around this way to reinforce this one side. And then I rotate it 90 degrees and I go into this top C bead here. Get my tail out of the way. And if I hold it like this, you can see now where I am. And then I'll reinforce here. And then I'll go around and I'll reinforce, reinforce all the sides and I'll tie off my thread. And I am going to make, I think I'm going to make six, six of these just cubed spacers or beaded beads. And um, we'll, in the next segment, segment I'll make the pearl uh, spacer with you, the spa pearl cubed spacer with you. I threaded my needle with one yard of fire line and we're going to make the spacer by stringing on four of our seed beads and I guess we can tie them in a knot. I'm going to pass my needle through two of the seed beads past the knot and I'm going to build my first wall. I'm going to string on three of these size 8 seed beads and my, my thread, my, work, my working thread is exiting in the direction, left direction of this seed bead here. And I'm going to pass my needle with the three size eight seed beads back through. And I'm going to advance my needle forward. And I'm going forward to my left here. I'm going to be using these two seed beads to attach my next wall. So I'm going to string on two seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle through these two. And I'm going to pull the thread. And I'm going to advance my needle to the left one bead. Now I'm going to use this seed bead and this one down here for my next unit. So I'm going to string on two seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle through this seed bead and this one here. And pull my thread. And now I'm going to advance my needle through this last seed bead on my base here. And up to my first wall bead. Get that tail out of the way. And I'm going to hold on to my work and I'm going to tighten up all of these threads. It looks like a little mess right now, but that is okay because we're going to fix that. I'm stringing on a pearl and my working thread is exiting this seed bead here and I need to pass it over down into this seed bead on the left 
I'm so sorry about that. Let me try this again. All right, I strung on my pearl and I'm, I'm, I'm exiting this seed bead and I need to go into this seed bead. Actually, and while I'm here, I'm going to just go through all three of these. And when I pull this, it's gonna set up just the way we need it. And I'm gonna push that pearl down in there. And my needle is exiting a vertical bead. And what we have to do is we have to put this unit together with the pearl. So we've got some horizontal oriented holes going here, 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 and in the pearl. So we're going to go through all these, these seed beads with the horizontal orientation and into the pearl if we can. And back into that first seed bead. And that's to make, to make the connection, but to get into position, to finish off this spacer, we're gonna enter into this center seed bead in the back. And here, we're just gonna make one more cube and our spacer will be done. So I'm, I'm gonna hold my finger onto this, the pearl so it doesn't come out of shape. And I'm gonna string on three of my seed beads and I'm gonna pass my needle through that, back through that seed bead and I'm gonna advance forward to my left. I'm going to string on two seed beads, then I'm going to pass my needle through this, these two seed beads here, and I'm going to advance my needle forward, and that means going through my pearl. I'm going to string on two seed beads, and I'm going to advance my needle. I'm sorry, I'm going to pa go enter into this seed bead and this pearl. And now we're on the side and I'm gonna turn my work away from me. I'm gonna advance my needle through this seed bead, up into this seed bead. And I have to string on my final seed bead in order to complete that unit. And my, my thread is exiting here and I'm gonna pass my, my needle to this seed bead here and back into this one, up into this one, which makes now my thread exiting a, um, a bead with the, the vertical orientation and so that means we have to go around. So right now my thread is exiting this seed bead here. I need to go into this bead, this bead, this bead, back into this one. And Put your, put your thumb there on your thread, on your, your, your bead, and pull tightly. And right now, the only thing that you really have to do is um, do your stitch in the ditch. And we're going to do that by advancing around and down this way. And I'm gonna string on one of these 80 seed beads and I'm gonna pass my needle into the next seed bead. And I'm stuck on my bead board. 
Now I'm going to turn my work this way. I'm going to, going to advance through this bead here. And this bead here. And I'm going to string on another of my eights and pass my needle through this seed bead here. Now the only thing you have to do is enforce these and tie off your thread and that will complete our spacer. Well, I forgot to add the bail. Our thread is coming out of this seed bead here and we're going to add a bail. I'm going to string on three size 11 seed beads and I'm going to pass my needle through this seed bead that is um, parallel to the one where we're exiting and pull the thread. I'm going to pass my needle back up into these three seed beads that I just added, these three size 11s that I just added. And back into the first size eight bead, size eight O seed bead where we started, right there. And then I'm going to advance my needle to the front, well, to the other side of this spacer bead. And I'm going to go into this size eight seed bead here and I'm going to do the same thing I just did on the back side. String on three size 11 seed beads and go into the parallel bead and I'm going to pass my needle back through the three size 11 seed beads and into the opposite side of the size 8 seed bead where I began and now I'm going to tie off the thread and then you, you can make an odd number of these spacers or you can just have one and um, however many you want because we're going to um, string some pearls now. Now we have come to the pearl stringing portion of the project and as you can see, I have strung my pearls and my spacers in this manner and the, the measurement, the length of the necklace is at 17 inches just like this and I'm going to leave it just like that. And the way that they are strung is each spacer and pearl are separated by a size 8 seed bead all the way up except for here where I made a mistake and I have two and um, down and all the way on the other side so what we're gonna do is and and I'm using the two needles because I'm not crimping and I was using my practice red thread so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to string these pearls and spacers and beads all on my fire line now and you're going to you're going to need um a significant length of fire line because we're going to be doubling um doubling and going around so now my my um necklace is 17 inches we're going to need at least four times that amount of fire line so i'm going to get my my needle strung and I will see you back after I get all of these done and I will show you how to attach the clasp. I transferred all my beads, my, my proper bead stringing onto my fire line now as you can see and I still I'm using my two needles and what I'm going to do is um, in my right hand I have the, the long working piece of uh, thread. I, I didn't even measure it. I know it's pretty long and I'm going to come all the way down to the other side um, and I'm going to attach that clasp first and that way I'm going to minimize the amount of thread that I have on this side and how we're going to attach my clasp is very simple because we're going to to only have to do one thing one time. So I'm exiting 
a size 8 seed bead. I'm going to attach my wire guardian by passing the needle around both sides. And and making sure that that is this thread here is sitting in the groove of the wire guardian. And I'm going to add my jump ring right now. This is where we are with this. I'm just going to put the jump ring on this side and squeeze this. And I'm going to go back into my size 8, my 8 OC beads, um, a, f a couple of, uh, the, uh, the pearl that's next, the subsequent 8 OC bead, and the pearl and the next 8 OC bead. And then that's where I'm going to stop. And it doesn't matter if we have um, a gap right now. It doesn't matter because I'm going to go and and tighten up the other side my so my thread is in the wire guardian and I have my jump ring attached I've got my my thread here and what I'm going to do with this thread is I'm not going to do a half hitch knot I'm going to do an overhand let me take the needle off for now do an overhand knot and I've got about I don't know this is about 10 inches of thread here on this right side so I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna do I'm gonna tie knots here <clears throat> excuse me and these knots aren't gonna be in the way because we're using 80 seed beads so I'm just gonna go a couple times around in my loop and pull it And then do that again. I'm gonna go around and go through my loop a couple of times. And that will secure our the position of our uh, clasp on this side. I'm glad that this happened. Now I'm looking. I'm looking here and my my thread has come out of the groove of the wire guardian and this isn't a problem. Just lift the thread up here and just pull down so it can get back into the groove of the wire guardian and pull tightly. What's funny is my my knot is just the knot right there and if I'm going to secure these beads here I'm going to have to pull this knot just a little higher up and I can do that just by there you go there you go now that is secure so now when you do yours you only go through the first 80 seed bead, the pearl, and the, the second 80 seed bead, and secure a knot right there. And I'm going to tie one more. I'm going to pull, go through this loop a couple of times, and just pull the thread. Now, I have taken the needle off, and I'm just going to move it out of the way here. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure now that there are no, there's no slack in this thread. I've got a significant length of thread here and there's got, I'm going to place my um, clasp, the lobster clasp part of the um, clasping onto the other side, just like I did with the uh, jump ring side. So the only thing you, I want you to do is to make sure that there, there's no gaps in your thread and, and um, that your beads are all flush against 
one another and place the other side of your clasping on. And when I'm done with that, then we will reinforce that whole line. I'm going to reinforce the whole line all the way back up here and go around into the um, into the this um, wire guardian guardian again. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do from there. I attach the lobster clasp portion of the my clasping to the other end of the bracelet and I'm I am now going back to um, the other end where the jump ring is with my thread um, because I need to reinforce reinforce these wire guardians there's only one thread running through the wire guardian at this time so I need to make two threads go go through these wire guardians and right now I am here on the bracelet my working thread I'm going I'm working from right to left and my working thread is exiting this pearl here and here is my tail thread where I, um, I tied it before and I'm just gonna go past it we're just gonna let it just lay right there and we're going to reinforce this wire guardian again I'm gonna pass my needle up through these beads, the, these eight O's, the pearls, the eight O's. I'm going to go past my tail thread here through that eight O and through the pearl and through this eight O that's sitting flush against the wire guardian. And I'm going to pull the thread. And at this time, the only thing I'm going to do is run my needle around the wire guardian and through the jump ring. Today, I'm going to do that today. So, yep, around this, the one hole. And of course, I would get a tangle. I really would like to run the thread, if it's long enough, run the thread around these wire guardians three times. That's what I'd like to do but if I don't have enough, I think twice will be sufficient. All right, so I went through the first hole of the guardian and I'm gonna go around the groove and through the jump ring, once I get all untangled here. And I'm gonna, the only thing is I'm gonna do now is after I get this today, Yes, all right, so one step at a time. Now the second hole here. And I'm gonna go all the way back through to the other side where my lobster clasp is and um, go around the guardian there. And once I reach there, I'm gonna turn the camera back on and show you what we're gonna do next. I completed passing my thread back to the other end of the necklace and uh, reinforced the wire guardian that is at the lobster clasp end. And this is what we currently have. And you could stop right there and tie off your threads and have your choker necklace at this point. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm going to continue and um, I'm gonna get my tripod back up and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna go from here. I completed passing my needle back through all of these beads and I reinforced the um, wire guardian here at the lobster clasp side. Now, uh, how we're gonna, going to continue to progress with this video is I, once I pass my reinforced this um, wire guardian, I just kept going through these beads here and now my thread is exiting a pearl. And I'm going to, at this point, continue advancing my needle through this pearl. I mean, this 8 o the pearl, the 8 o the pearl, this 8 o and this spacer and the 8 o and the pearl. I'm just gonna keep going and I'm I'm not gonna do anything special until I get to the um, second spacer bead. 
So we passed one and we're going to just continue advancing through until we pass all of them. Well, not all of them, but we're going to exit from the the 80 seed bead on the other side of this spacer. So this is our beginning point for our next step. I'm exiting here, the 80 past the second spacer. At this point now, I have a series of beads that I'm going to add, which will be three 80 seed beads and I'm going to string on a pearl and all and an 80 a pearl and an 80 and a pearl so you should have this now and then I'm going to add to it because what we're adding is going to to be the sy symmetric on both sides. I'll see you when I pick those back up. So as I was saying before I so clumsily dropped my beads, I strung on three size, three 80 seed beads, a pearl, an 80, a pearl, an 80, a pearl, and three of the 80 seed beads. From here, I'm going to pass my needle through the third spacer. I'm sorry, the 80 seed bead and the spacer and the 80 seed bead. I'm very sorry about that. And just going to pull our thread just like that. Once here, I'm going to string on one seed bead, a pearl. I'm going to do that four times and end with a seed bead. So I should have five seed beads alternating four pearls. And I'm going to now pass my needle through. the bottom bale of this pearl spacer and pull the thread and pull it tight so so that you know there's the that the beads the pearl the beads don't move and I'm going to move it this way as a matter of fact I'm going to clasp it so it doesn't move out of control all right, now we are here, and I'm going to now move into the center pearl spacer. So I am going to string on seven seed beads and six pearls alternating, beginning with the seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the seed beads, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do this same um, stringing for the next going in from the center pearl spacer until the third pearl spacer so we're gonna pass our needle through the bail here on this second pearl spacer and pull and you're going to do the same thing you're going to string seven of the seed beads and six pearls and pass through this next pearl spacer and we will come back. I added my second progression of beads, the, the, the seven seed beads and the six pearls and I went into, I moved into that third pearl spacer and now we're going to continue on and I've, I've already picked my beads up and we are going to uh, go in reverse order like we did before. So we have the five 80 seed beads in the, and the four pearls um, alternating beginning with the 80 
and ending with the 8 and we're going to pass our needle through this first regular um, spacer section. So we're going to go through the 8 the spacer, and the 8 and pull our thread. This is where we are now. And then the last progression of beads we have to string on is our three eight o seed beads, a pearl, one eight o, a pearl, one eight o, a pearl, and the three eight o seed beads. And we're going to pass our needle here through this eight o, the bead spacer, and the eight o and as many of the subsequent beads as you can possibly pass your needle through because that will complete the, uh, the, the choker drape. And the, what I am going to do is make sure that my, my beads are tight here, my pearls are tight here, and um, I've got it clasped up. And I am going to pass my needle and thread all the way up and I'm going to reinforce my wire guardian yet again for the third time and I'm going to go back around this way and I'm going to go through the, the draped beads that I added all the way around and I'm going to tie my thread off and that will complete our bracelet. I'll show you the picture of the, the completed I'm sorry, necklace. I'm going to show you the picture of the completed necklace when I'm done. But you don't have to watch me um, reinforce these whole, all of these beads because that doesn't even make sense. All right, so um, I'll see you back when I'm done. This is my completed necklace. I have reinforced all of my uh, stitching and tied my threads off. And this is it laying down at the beginning. I show you a picture of it standing up on the bust, but this is the completed project laying down. Thank you for sticking with me, putting up with me doing this project, and I hope you make the project. I hope you like it. I hope you share pictures with me, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.